certain individuals in Japan are refusing to change their old phones from like 2009. And the reason why they're doing that is because they have these so-called infidelity phones. It's known as the Fujitsu Limited phone, um, and they no longer make this model, understandably, we, you know, because of new technology, there are new phones coming out like every week at this point. Yeah, seriously. Right? Um, but these phones have certain privacy features that cheating men really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Fujitsu's privacy mode is a layer of nearly invisible security that hides missed calls, emails, and text messages from contacts designated as private. If one of those acquaintances gets in touch, the only signal of communication is a subtle change in the color or shape of how the battery sign or ante antenna bars are displayed. If ignored, the call doesn't appear in the phone log. And yeah. Baseballs. That that sounds interesting. I know what would happen to me though. I wouldn't notice the subtle change in color, and then my mistress would get pissed at me that I'm not texting her back. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's interesting. I wonder. I, I mean, obviously, I wasn't around in Japan in 2009, but I wonder when they were originally selling it. Did they use did they use those features as a way to advertise it? I'm not sure, like, to be they honest with you. But advertise on askmen.com or something like that? What's interesting about this is, obviously, there is a, a market for this. Mm -hmm. um, so you would think that newer models and newer phones would want this. And by the way, this phone was never available in the United States. This yeah. has always been available in Japan. And as I mentioned again, um, they, they do not uh, make it anymore. And all of the other phones that they've created don't have the same privacy settings that these guys get to Which enjoy. Which is interesting. I wonder why. I wonder if there's a... a, a strike back from I, some of the female. That's really, I love that you asked that because I was wondering the same thing. If this is a popular uh, type of yeah, privacy setting, why wouldn't you want to use it for other models? Anyway, um, but there have been apps that have tried to do the same thing, but mm -hmm. so far they've been an utter failure. There's one guy who goes by an alias or something uh, in this article who's saying like, oh, you know, I've tried all the different apps, but none of them live up to the Fujitsu phone. Uh -huh. You know, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. No, I, I, it would be difficult. I imagine like with an iPhone or something, you'd have to jailbreak it. But yeah, it's interesting. And, and the, the, the angle on this that I wanted to talk about was that we had talked previously on The Young Turks, or you and Jenk talked about the rise of the herbivore men mm -hmm. and sort of the, the fact that asexuality is becoming more of just a natural thing. I, I don't know the percentages. Maybe it's not as large as I imagine it to be, but that huge swaths of Japanese population are just not interested in dating or sex at all. But there are still those like old-fashioned guys that they, they're not satisfied with just one woman. They need yeah. to hide it from them. There's something kind of nice about that. And the that reason, they still the, well, in Japan, cheat on their girlfriends. No, 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 no. I hate that they want to cheat on their girlfriends. But it's nice to know that there's a story about people having sex with people. In, like, because yeah, I that's true. no, no, no. And I don't want. I know that that's not like a rare instance in Japan. Mm. I know that the vast majority of people in Japan are having human interaction and human relationships. Yeah. But I'm just saying, in the context of this show, I feel like every time we talk about Japan, we talk about you know the herbivore men, or, or we talk pillows. about yeah, like guys falling in love with their pillows or whatever. And I don't think that's an accurate de depiction of Japan. Yeah, and I, I know we have Japanese viewers, and a lot of them get mad at us for our coverage. But understand, we're not trying to say that this is like you know this phenomenon and, and, and yeah. everyone everyone is like doing it in Japan no it's it's a tiny tiny fringe uh, group of people and it's just an interesting occurrence yeah. that we want to discuss a little bit we think so it, it, there are only two types of men in Japan either the horrible horn dog cheaters or the people who want to have sex with pillows yeah. that's what we're just trying to say exactly or the guys who feel kind of guilty about what they want so they'll have sex with the woman but the whole time they're picturing a pillow <laughs> all right we're kidding like yeah, just let's totally just be kidding. 100% clear on that. Yeah. We're really, really fast. Last mm -hmm. thing on this. So I, I, I think that this news is coming out. It's on these big blogs and everything. I have to imagine that this coverage is going to get back to Japan. And so it makes me wonder if, like, for a guy's birthday is coming up the next few months, the girl's going to buy him a new phone. And he's just like, no, baby, I like my old phone. That's going to cause some problems with the relationship. Yeah, that's a really good point. Because if you have that phone, you're keeping your phone from 2009. One guy actually refurbished his phone because he didn't want to <laughs> get rid of it. Doesn't that tell your girlfriends mm. that you're probably not that great?